Obsidian Flames has been an absolute insane set to open up. Oh! I mean, for some reason, my luck has been ridiculous, and I pulled gold Charizards for three days straight. But I've been wondering, is this set really this good, or have I just got incredibly lucky? Today, we're going to hopefully answer that question, because I'm going to be opening up even more brand new Obsidian Flames products. From three-pack blisters, to checkout lane blisters, and even sleeve booster packs. We're going to be opening all of those products and put them to the test to see if our luck will continue. All right, so I say we start off with the three-pack blisters, and I think what I want to do is maybe just open 24 booster packs from each of these new products to kind of get an idea, kind of get a feel for it. See, yo, if we get another char- if, Seriously, if I get a fourth gold- No, fifth, sorry. Excuse me. Fifth gold Charizard, uh, four days in a row, I might just I, I might just have to retire because I don't think you can get any better than that. But this is the promo card, one of the promo cards you get from these three-pack blisters. And by the way, before I move any further, I wanted to let you know that I'm giving away one of each of these products to one subscriber here on the channel. So all you have to do to enter the giveaway is number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, leave a comment down below in the comment section. All right, let's start off with our first three booster packs here so we can continue this crazy pure insane luck that I've been having with this set like it is just non-stop Charizards and I cannot stop pulling the gold Charizard Dragonite EX which reminds me for some reason I still have not pulled the regular EX Charizard from this set it's kind of crazy all right all right, all right. I'm not trying to do I'm not trying to flex here but you know what I'm saying like that was just that was a casual uh casual couple days here not gonna lie it's kind of crazy I want to see if we could make that stack even higher see if we can get more of those gold Charizards we have nothing on that one. All right, we got one more of these, and then I'm going to show you the next three-pack blister that comes with a different promo card. There's two different promo cards for these. Man, the luck is nuts with this set. We got a Gita, uh, and it's a special heart rate. It's literally one of the best cards in the entire set. The luck truly has no limits with this set, but the next promo card is going to be an Eevee. I can't believe it. That's literally the fourth most expensive card in this entire set. Have they, like, really made the pull rates, like, even easier now? Because, like, Scarlet and Violet, I know the pull rates... We're getting a lot easier, but now with this, I feel like it's like even. Is it even easier or is it just me right now? Like, I still don't know if it's just me. We got this beautiful EV promo card, though. All right, let's do another three booster packs here of Obsidian Flames with the nonstop pulls. It's just, it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. It's crazy, but let me know what you guys, uh, how your luck has been with this set. If you've opened it yet or if you haven't opened it, let me know. Uh, the set officially, actually, I think this should be the release day uh, that you're watching this video. If you're watching it on the, re the release day of this video. But yeah, let's see. This is going to be our sixth pack. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if these products, any of these are luckier than other ones. More not unlucky. I don't know. Coridon EX. All right, here we go. So we have more of these three-pack blisters. I'm just going to open all these up right now. All right, here we go. We have the rest of our packs. We get 24 total just to see, you know, how we do on average with these. Um, we're going to go through this and hopefully, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know what to expect anymore, but like my goal, I'm not going to lie, is to, is to pull another gold Charizard because I don't want to do an opening of this without one. I want to like there's I don't want to ruin our gold Charizard pulling spree. This will be four in a row if we can actually do it right on again. Four days, baby. Let's go. All right. So after these packs, I will open up another brand new product. Nice. The Tyranitar full art terraform right there. All right. So quick recap. I have. Four gold Charizards pulled so far. I have two, I believe, of the regular full art ones. Maybe three. No, I think it's two. Maybe three. And then one of the special art rare Charizards. And for some reason, easiest of them all, the Charizard regular EX, I have not pulled yet. Ooh, Houndoom EX. Okay, that's pretty solid. Evil Claw. Hound's Fang. All right, so the Gita's obviously was the biggest pull so far. Then the Tyranitar that we just got was pretty solid. Can we do any better, though? Can the pull rates be that crazy with this set? Let's see. What do we got? What do we got? No! No! It is too good! It is too good! Somebody, please stop me! I can't stop pulling these things! This right here is definitely the number one card in the entire set. Something's going on! Something is going on right now. I don't know what it is, but these cards are so much easier to pull. Like, dude, I cannot stop pulling this stuff. As of the recording of this, it could definitely have changed since the video dropped. This card is going for around $150 to $160 raw. This is the special art rare. The gold card is going for around $75 at the moment. So the special art rare, I just can't, like, it's crazy how many have actually been pulled. Uh, like, it's, uh, Ooh, Lechonk. There we go. That's a cool card. 
And I feel like, you know what? Was that our first art rare? Like, the regular art rares aren't even being pulled that much. It's kind of weird. But yeah, so the special art rare, I have pulled one, I think it was yesterday, right? Can't even keep track anymore. Yesterday, that was the first one I pulled, then one today. My daughter pulled one yesterday as well. My brother-in-law pulled one right in front of me as well out of a couple packs. Ooh, absolute EX. So I've seen, I've, I've pulled two and then I've seen two more pulled and it wasn't a lot of packs. So it's kind of like, and then I pulled four of the gold cards. So I don't know, what do you guys think? It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. All right, let's keep going though. Can we continue with this madness? We got a special art rare Charizard on the board right now. The three pack blisters are doing pretty solid, honestly. We got the Houndoom EX again. All right, so we got five more packs that we're gonna move on to the next new product of Obsidian Flames. Hope you guys are enjoying this set as much as I am, cause uh, it's, you know what? It's, you know, obviously when they throw a Charizard in a set, People get excited and stuff like that. But it's interesting with this set because it's actually not super expensive at all. I think booster boxes are like $100, which is is actually a really good price. Even with the increased MSRP and all that stuff. And like, I think it's a good... Oh, wow. Okay, that's crazy. That is the first gold card that I've pulled that's not a Charizard. That's wild. Oh my god. Okay, it's about time I got a gold card that wasn't a Charizard. That's sick though. We actually got one of the three gold cards. I can't believe it. I actually pulled a gold card that was not a Charizard. <laughs> you saw it here first, or at least the first time here. It took four days for that to happen. Alright, um, what do you guys think of the three pack blister pull rates right now? They're I think they're really good. We got a gold card. We got two special art rares. We got some nice full arts. We got some good stuff here. Can we do better though? Next up, what I want to do are these sleeve packs. So these are basically stuff that you probably see in Walmart and Target more often. Uh, they're a little bit more expensive, I believe, per pack. But you can buy, you know, just one pack. Like, this is the way to go if you want to buy one pack. I still think the booster bundles are a way better deal, in all honesty. So you get six packs. Uh, that, well, it depends how much they charge. But I've seen them as low as $18, so that's $3 a pack. So, yeah, it's definitely the best way to go about it, I think. Come on. No, nothing. All right. So I'm still opening 24 total. Uh, I'm just gonna, sh I'm just doing one of each artwork right now to start with. But we'll do 24 of these as well to see how we actually le chunk. And then one more, the Tyranitar. It's basically the same artworks, but it's in just cardboard. And then you have another pack, which is, can be another different artwork as well. Um, but yeah, let's go. Let's see what we got. We have, oh, we got something. Oh, we got doubly something. Oh no, just something. Oh, the Ice Q EX uh, special art rare. It's a super, like, basic card, but it actually really works nicely with the colors. All right, we got 24 total for the sleeved packs. Can we do better than the three-pack blisters? We're going to find out right now. Three-pack blisters, we're, we're good. Honestly, really good. Can we beat it, though? All right, let's see. Tyranitar pack artwork. Can we get... Nope. <laughs> let's see if we can get one that has the same artwork inside of the pack. Inside the sleeve pack. All right, next up, we do have a Malmetal EX. Come on, we got to continue our Gold Charizard pulling spree. This will not be a video without a gold Charizard. <laughs> it will not be an Obsidian Flames opening without a gold Charizard. It cannot be. It cannot be. We need to get four days in a row. I need every Obsidian Flames opening from, from since the beginning to the last one to have a gold Charizard. Come on. It's just like tradition at this point. You know, it's like it's just like a it's a family thing. It's a tradition. We sit down, we open Obsidian Flames, and you have to pull a gold Charizard, or it just doesn't count. Alright? So we're going to make it happen. If not, it'll be the first ever that I did not pull one. Come on. More gold Charizards. Absol EX. It's kind of funny that sometimes all it takes is a Charizard for a set to be, like, super hyped up. But, I mean, Pokemon just knows what they're doing. They throw Charizards in. And, yeah, I mean, just... Scizor and Tyranitar is sick. All right. Come on. Let's see what else we could get here. Something, something, something. Charmander. Toxtricity. These ones, that's, the pulls have slowed down. I got to say, they definitely slowed down. Um, can we pick up the pace here a little bit? Come on. Oh, we can. Oh, Rev of Room. There we go. Nice. That's a special art rare. Dude, are we getting all the... How many special art rares are in this set? Hold on. I got to check because I can't remember. I think there's six. If I counted that correctly, I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure it's six. We pulled four of the special art rares out of the six so far today, it's, which is mind-blowing to me. That we're just oh look at that we got the room right to go with it that's actually a really cool artwork and i'd say that for every single one of these art rares because they're that cool all right we're picking up the pace with these now but yeah special art rares today we pulled the charizard we pulled the reverend we pulled the gita and we pulled the ice cube 
Now we just need Poppy and Pidgeot. I pulled Pidgeot yesterday. Um, I think I actually, I pulled all. Dude, like, are we completing the set to be out? Wait, I think we're like completing the set. I think I, I think I might have, oh my God, wait. I think I might already almost have the full set. What the heck? And that's like, you gotta think like, sword and shield. I was going crazy trying to complete a sets live. Opening up like 3,000 packs and still not completing it. From all the openings we've done here, I mean, the first video I did was two booster boxes. The second video I did was only three ETBs, right? And then the third video was booster bundles. I think it was 11 booster bundles. So it was like 66 packs or something like that total. Yeah, 66 packs from that. So like, how many packs in am I? Uh, 64, 66, 120, 130, then the ETBs, 40, I'm like a, 160 packs in right now, or something like that. Ooh, I have not pulled this yet though. I have not pulled this yet though. Well, wait, that's crazy! I'm, I'm like getting really close to completing the set already. I'm only, I guess if you count the packs from earlier in these packs, then I'm closer to like 200 packs. Which is still like so low compared to all the other sets where you have to literally open like three, four thousand packs to complete the set. It's way easier now. I'm 90% sure that I have all the art rares, the regular art rares. The special art rares were just missing, I believe, Poppy. We might have even pulled it. Oh my god, another special art rare, they don't stop! <laughs> another ice cube. Dude, we got three special art rares from these sleeve packs too. That's crazy. So yeah, probably all the art rares pulled. Probably missing just one special art rare, but I honestly might have pulled that poppy. I can't even remember. Uh, only missing one gold card. Uh, what else? EXs. I know we're missing the Charizard. I think that's literally the only EX that we're missing. Yeah, that's the only EX we're missing is the Charizard EX. Belly bolts. Only thing I'm not sure about is the full arts. How many of those? I, I want to say that I have almost all of them. I want to say I have almost all of them. So that's kind of crazy to think what's happened with like the chase right now are you guys happy about that are you sad about that it definitely changes a lot of the dynamics with like opening cards and stuff i do have it i have all the special art rares i almost have all the gold cards i'm just missing one uh all i actually almost have all of the regular full arts i'm just missing vespa queen and then i think like a trainer and then for the regular exs i have all of them except for charizard we, we literally almost completed the set already. This is crazy. Well, we have our last product here. This is the Checkout Lane Blister, and this has Palmy as the promo card, and there's a coin there as well. Um, like, I was going to do a stream to complete the set, but I, um, I I pretty much already did, and it's only been, like, what? How many packs? Unless I do another one where I just start from scratch. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. To be honest, that's one of the reasons that I haven't done a uh, binder completion stream in the longest time is because... Ever since Sword and Shield era ended, it just got so much easier to complete sets that by the time I opened up all the products, I literally almost had the whole set. And now with this set, it feels like oh, it feels like it's even easier, or just I, or just my luck. But we have the Paldean Whooper there as a promo card on this one. Those are the two promo cards, and these are called Checkout Lane Blisters because they're literally at the checkout lanes when you go to Target and stuff. You'll like see them on the side there sometimes. Um, so we have that. We have our little Whooper. Oh, it's a, oh man, the colors on this thing are insanely good. Is that rain? I thought it was print lines for a second. It looks like it's just rain. That's so cool. I love this card. But yeah, uh, very interesting. Very. I, I really am curious what you guys think of all this right now. Like, do you do you like that the chase is way easier right now? Do you like that uh, it seems like everybody can pull Charizard if they want to? Let me know what you think. And then we're going to have 24 uh, checkout lane blisters, but I'm just going to open these real quick. All right, let's go. But yeah, it looks like I only need four more cards to complete this set. The Vespa Queen Full Art, uh, one of the Full Art Trainers, a gold card, we got something in here, and the Charizard EX, which I think this actually might be it. I think this might be it, guys. I think this might be it, guys. Oh my god, it's a freaking Ice Q EX. I thought that was it. I saw the fire. I saw it. I saw it was... Yeah, okay. I can't pull the easiest Charizard. It's just wild. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of that. I'm, I'm going to say I'm like 200 packs into this thing and the set's almost done. Uh, like really almost done. The chase is always really fun. Yeah, okay, well that was the trainer I was missing. Oh my god, we're literally almost done. Ortega, that's going to be the... Uh, oh wait, no, no, is that it? Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's the four that I need. Okay, now we're down to three cards. 
What is happening with Pokemon? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Like I see the positives and the negatives. I, I, this is what I, my opinion would be. Uh, the chase, right? We love the chase. Everybody loves opening up packs. Obviously, it could get really expensive, but the chase in general to pull a card that's like that not that many people are able to pull definitely like feels rewarding. I don't know. Obviously, it's like everybody's in their own different situations and stuff like that. And cards are expensive and packs are expensive, but. So, like, say you just get lucky, you open a pack, and you pull the Moonbreon, which is worth thousands of dollars, and it's, like, not many people can pull that card. So, that, like, kind of is something, right? And then, obviously, I feel like the days of 12-hour streams are kind of gone at this point. That's what I used to do, if you guys didn't know. Like, when a new set drops, I will literally stream and try to complete the entire set in one stream. And, like, most of the times, I will stream for, like, 12 hours, and I will be missing, like, a card or two. And usually, like, I, usually I don't even get it. And that's opening, like thousands of packs sometimes like 3,000 or more packs and um, we are 200 packs in on this thing and I'm I got three I just literally pulled another one I'm three I'm missing three cards an EX a four Vespa Queen and one gold card and that's it then we have the whole set um, which is it's good though right because obviously if you want to buy cards uh, especially for players and stuff like that you can go you can the cards are gonna be a lot cheaper because if everybody's pulling them there's way more supply uh, packs and stuff and boxes will be way cheaper. We're already seeing it with this set. Uh, pretty much all the Scarlet and Violet era sets, the, the boxes and stuff are like way cheaper. I think you can get like Obsidian Flames booster boxes for a hundred dollars or less at this point. Um, and again, that's even with the there was a huge price increase. So if, if this would happen even before the price increase, the boxes would probably be at like eighty dollars. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. And of course, be careful with buying cards right now. Well, yeah, still, I think. Um, because obviously, well, the set's releasing today as of this video. But, you know, prices probably will keep dropping. That's usually what happens because there's just more supply. It keeps coming out. Like, everybody will be opening it. Um, so, yeah, just watch out for that. If you want to grab cards, just watch out for price drops. Oh, my God. This is crazy. Oh, that's not the that's not the special art still. But we got a full art Gita. I think I've pulled this card so many times already. But overall, somehow I'm pulling all the craziest Charizards, all the craziest cards, and I still can't pull the basic Charizard EX in this set. I don't know why. Oh, another Tyranitar, sick, but I needed the Vespa Queen version of this. It looks just like this, but at, like with the same background, Terraform, but it's the Vespa Queen. All right, so yeah, interesting stuff here. I don't know what's gonna happen. Call mod. Yeah, that's wild to me. I'm like 200 packs in, maybe around 225 after these. Uh, and like, I'm done. The set. Pidgeot! Ugh. Also, is this gonna be the first video that ends our spree of gold Charizard pulls? I'm gonna be sad if that's the case. We still have like a handful more packs. It's still possible. But the one gold card we got today was actually one of the, <laughs> the only time we have not got a gold Charizard. It was a different gold card in the set. There's only three gold cards in the set. Ooh, Pidgeotto! Let's go! Beautiful artwork on this one. All the, the Pidgeotto, the Pidgey, Pidgeot artworks on the All right, we got six more packs. Can we get one more card that we're missing in this set? I guess we're going to try to complete the set next video. It's probably what's going to happen. Next opening of this, I'll probably try to complete it. Uh, it's crazy, right? I don't know. Wasn't expecting that already. We'll have to get stuff in a binder, make it look pretty nice, get it all set up, and then my, I guess I'll do it. All right, I'm hoping... Um... Oh, my God, we're going to end our... I'm so sad. I'm devastated. We're going to end our gold Charizard pulling spree. Please no. Victini EX. At least give us one of the three cards that we're missing to complete this set. Come on. Come on. It's. Oh, no. All right. Last pack magic, baby. Let's make it happen. Come on. Do not end the spree like this. All right. No peeking. No peeking. Here we go. Last pack. What do we got? Letter of encouragement. Patrol cap. Weasel. Smoliv. Oh. All right, guys, it's going to end our video today, and I think next video we're probably going to go for it and try to finish off this set with the three last cards that we need. If you enjoyed the video, though, make sure to smash the like button on your way out. If you want more content, click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you on the next one.